The National Building Research Organization notes that the landslide warnings issued to six districts remain in place due to persistent showers. However, senior geologist of the NBR, Ogami Nijatisa, notes that the risk of landslides in the districts of Noor Elia, Kegol, Khalutara, Gol, Matara and Ratnapura have reduced as the amount of rainfall to the areas have decreased. Nadi Majid joins us from the newsroom with more details. Well, I'm taking some time off the business and politics circuit to bring you some important news on the weather front. This low pressure system that you see here, that's the culprit behind the extreme weather conditions that we've been seeing over the past few days. The Indian Meteorological Authorities are warning that over the next 48 hours this could intensify into a depression and that around the 19th it may make landfall around the states of Andhra Pradesh and Odisha. This is what has been causing the heavy showers that we've been seeing across the island in Sri Lanka as well. An important thing to keep in mind, this period, October to November, is the inter-monsoonal season. The country receives about 30% of its ra annual rainfall during this season. The Director General of the Met Department here in Sri Lanka, speaking to News First, noted that given the current sort of abnormalities that we're seeing in the weather pattern, this intermonsoonal season could be further delayed, which would not be great news for the country's farmers for agricultural production, especially in the Rajarata and in the eastern provinces. The Atavagas Junction and Dambala areas along the Bulat Singhala Molakawa main road have been inundated due to the Kukule Ganga overflowing. Boats as well as Navy vessels were used in the area this morning for transport. The Galyakala area along the Bulat Singhala Varakagoda main road has been submerged due to the Kudaganga overflowing. Low lying areas in farmland in the Maduravala, Anguruvatota, and Varakagoda areas have been inundated due to the Kalu River overflowing. The water level of the Gin River had reached the flood level as of this afternoon. Meanwhile, fishermen refrained from setting out to sea through the Hikkadua and Balapitiya harbours due to rough seas. Heavy showers in catchment areas had resulted in the water levels of hydropower plant reservoirs increasing. One spill gate of the Kotmale reservoir was opened this afternoon. The Vimala Surendu Reservoir has been overflowing since yesterday. Water levels of the Devon and St. Clair waterfalls in the Nuwara Elia and Hatton districts have also increased. Several roads in the Deniaya and Kotapola areas in the Mathura district have been inundated due to heavy showers in the area. This is the manner in which the Kumburupitiya Hontugoda Road and the Akuras Kadduva Road were inundated. A correspondent also noted that crocodile activity in the Nilvala River has increased as the water level of the river is rising. This was the situation of the Daraniyagala Kalanivatu Road yesterday as the water levels of the Kalani River rose. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Road Development Authority, or RDA, is warning that motorists using the expressways should reduce speed to 60 kilometers per hour in the event of rain. Stay tuned with the News First Weather Center. We'll be bringing you the updates on the extreme weather situation as and when they unfold.